postmodernism emerges as a complex, multifaceted critique of the foundational certainties that once emphasized the modernist vision of the world. Unlike its predecessor, which revered the ideals of progress, coherence, and absolute truth, postmodernism thrives on skepticism, relativism, and the rejection of grand narratives that seek to universally define and explain the human condition. It is not merely a reactionary stance, but a profound interrogation of how accounts, knowledge, and power structures shape our perception of reality. This intellectual movement, gaining momentum in the latter half of the 20th century, reflects a broader societal and philosophical shift, signified by a growing disillusionment with the Enlightenment's promises following the devastations of World War II. The rise of consumer culture, advancements in technology, and the omnipresence of mass media have further catalyzed this worldview, challenging previous certainties and taking up plurality, ambiguity, and diversity. This essay aims to dissect the aspect of postmodernism, exploring its philosophical roots, cultural ramifications, and the critical dialogue it fosters. By examining postmodernism's key tenets, such as the systematic questioning of universal applicability of grand narratives, its importance on subjective experience over objective reality, and its innovative approach to deconstruction and fragmentation. We will unravel its impact across various disciplines. Additionally, we will navigate through the analyses that accuse it of promoting intellectual and moral relativism and the disputes it faces in defining truth and offering solutions for real-world issues. Through this investigation, the essay will accentuate postmodernism's significant role in supporting a more nuanced, inclusive understanding of the world, asserting its relevance and adaptability in addressing contemporary societal, cultural, and philosophical questions. First of all, the roots of postmodernism are intricately braided into the fabric of the 20th century's tumultuous history, demonstrated by unprecedented events and shifts that question the very basis of human comprehension and progress. The disillusionment that followed the catastrophic world wars, especially World War II, played a pivotal role in shaping the postmodern consciousness. These global conflicts, with their unimaginable scale of destruction and the subsequent revelation of the Holocaust, shattered the Enlightenment's promise of progress through reason and science, exposing the dark underbelly of industrial and technological advancement. The atomic bomb became a symbol not only of technological prowess, but also of the potential annihilation of humanity itself, casting a long shadow over the modernist optimism in human progress and rationality. In the aftermath of the war, the appearance of the Cold War era further complicated the global landscape introducing a binary worldview propagated through ideologies that claim to afford universal solutions to humanity's plight. This period of ideological confrontation between capitalism and communism, each presenting itself as a grand narrative capable of ushering in a utopian future, provided a fertile ground for postmodern skepticism towards any form of totalizing explanation or solution. The construction of the Berlin Wall and the Cuban Missile Crisis exemplified the precarious nature of these grand narratives, highlighting the fragility of human existence under the shadow of nuclear threat. Simultaneously, the rapid advancement in technology and the proliferation of mass media began reshaping society in deep ways. The television, and later the Internet, became central to the dissemination of information, altering perceptions of time and space and contributing to the formation of a global culture. This media saturation led to a heightened awareness of the multiplicity of perspectives and descriptions, confronting the notion of a singular, objective reality. The rise of consumer culture further indicated individualism and the fragmentation of society, as mass-produced goods enabled personal expression, but also led to a sense of alienation in the face of commodification. The civil rights movement, feminist movements, and the push for decolonization also played decisive roles in testing established details and power structures. These movements brought issues of race, gender, and colonial legacy to the forefront, questioning the universal applicability of Western histories of freedom and progress, and furthering a more inclusive grasp of human rights and identity. This period of social upheaval and activism maintained the limitations of modernist frameworks to address the complications of human experience paving the way for postmodern accesses that pointed out plurality, diversity, 
and the weight of marginalized voices. Philosophically, the seeds of postmodernism can be traced back to the early 20th century, with thinkers like Friedrich Nietzsche and Martin Heidegger laying the groundwork for questioning the bedrocks of Western metaphysics and the notion of an unchanging, universal truth. However, it was in the mid to late 20th century that postmodern philosophy truly came into its own, with figures like Jean-Francois Lyotard, Jacques Derrida, and Michel Foucault critically examining the ways in which knowledge, power, and language construct our insight of reality. Lyotard's proclamation of the incredulity towards metanarratives captured the heart of postmodernism's objection to grand narratives, while Derrida's deconstruction displayed a method for unraveling the complications of language and meaning, and Foucault's analyses of power relations exposed the mechanisms through which societal norms and truths are constructed and maintained. As the 20th century progressed, the impact of postmodernism began to be felt across various fields, from the arts and literature to architecture and the social sciences, each domain chewing a shift towards questioning enacted averages and accepting ambiguity and variety. In literature, this manifested in a departure from traditional narration structures and an adoption of fragmentation, pastiche, and irony. In architecture, postmodern buildings tried modernist aesthetics with a return to ornamentation and historical references. And in the social sciences, postmodern ways questioned the objectivity of scientific inquiry and reiterated the concern of perspective and context. In summary, the historical context of postmodernism is a drapery of conflict, transformation, and appraisal that spans the entirety of the 20th century. From the ashes of world wars and amidst the tensions of the Cold War, amidst rapid technological advancement and serious social change, postmodernism arrived as an integral voice questioning the certainties of the modern era and backing for a more subtle, pluralistic knowledge of reality. It is a movement born out of the ramifications of its time, cogitating the diverse and often contradictory forces that have shaped the contemporary world. Moreover, postmodernism, as a philosophical and cultural movement, diverges fairly from the fundamental premises of modernism, introducing a series of key features that collectively redefine our path to knowledge, art, and society. At the heart of postmodernism lies a thorough skepticism towards grand narratives or meta-narratives, those overarching stories and ideologies that modernism and Enlightenment thinking proposed as universally applicable truths guiding human progress and perception. Jean-Francois Lyotard famously articulated this skepticism, suggesting that postmodernism is defined by its incredulity towards meta-narratives. This incredulity is not slightly a passive doubt, but an active questioning of the ability of any single account to encapsulate the convoluted, pluralistic nature of human experience and reality. In place of these grand narratives, postmodernism repeats the consequence of local descriptions and individual experiences, championing a relativistic access to truth and knowledge. This shift towards relativism and subjectivity features a pivotal departure from the modernist search for objective truth and universal principles. Postmodernism argues that reality is constructed through language and culture, suggesting that our realization of the world is always mediated by the context of our perceptions and the details we employ to make sense of our experiences. This leads to a mishmash of perspectives, with postmodernism celebrating the diversity of viewpoints and resisting the imposition of a singular dominant perspective. Closely related to this prominence on relativism and subjectivity is postmodernism's focus on fragmentation and deconstruction. Jacques Derrida's concept of deconstruction plays a crucial role here, extending a method for analyzing texts, discussions, and cultural practices to reveal the fundamental assumptions, contradictions, and power dynamics they contain. Deconstruction is not hardly a tool for critical analysis, but also a way of approaching the world that acknowledges the inherent instability and indeterminacy of meaning. Postmodernism, therefore, deals with fragmentation as a thought of the perplexing nonlinear nature of reality, challenging the modernist ideals of coherence, unity, and totalization. Another defining feature of postmodernism is its playful and ironic way to culture and representation. In contrast to the seriousness and earnestness of modernism, postmodernism often employs irony, pastiche, and parody, 
as means of assessing cultural standards and questioning the authenticity and originality of artistic expression. This playful attitude extends to the blurring of boundaries between high and low culture, with postmodernism contending that all forms of cultural production have value and merit examination. This leads to a democratization of culture, where popular culture, media, and consumer goods become valid subjects for artistic and scholarly survey. The rejection of binary oppositions is another cornerstone of postmodern thought. Traditional dichotomies such as nature-culture, male-female, and rational-slash-irrational are deconstructed to show the fluid and constructed nature of these categories. Postmodernism confronts the rigid structures and classifications imposed by modernist thinking, encouraging a more fluid recognition of character, gender, and the human condition. This rejection of binaries goes hand in hand with an attention on hybridity and intertextuality, with postmodernism celebrating the mixing of genres, styles, and cultural references as a way of creating new forms of expression and sense. Basically, the key features of postmodernism, its skepticism towards grand narratives, insistence on relativism and subjectivity, focus on fragmentation and deconstruction, playful path to culture, and rejection of binary oppositions, collectively represent a radical departure from the central premises of modernism. Postmodernism tests us to reconsider our assumptions about truth, knowledge, and the nature of reality, giving a more pluralistic, fragmented, and sophisticated vision of the world. Through its serious and often provocative stance, postmodernism invites ongoing dialogue and debate, underlining the dynamic and evolving nature of contemporary thought and culture. Furthermore, postmodernism's tendrils have elaborately entwined themselves into the very significance of various disciplines, radically altering murals of thought, creation, and analysis across a broad spectrum of fields. This pervasive influence underscores the movement's capacity to try constitutional principles and encourage a reevaluation of formed benchmarks, resulting in weighty and lasting impacts. In philosophy, Postmodernism ushered in a seismic shift from the quest for universal truths to a focus on the relativity of knowledge and the power dynamics inherent in discursive practices. Philosophers such as Michel Foucault, Jacques Derrida, and Jean-François Lyotard have been instrumental in this transition. Foucault's analysis of the relationships between force, knowledge, and social institutions uncovered how societal criterions are constructed and maintained fundamentally questioning the objectivity of historical and scientific histories. Derrida's deconstruction method dissected the ways language shapes awareness, emphasizing the instability of meaning and the impossibility of accessing an unmediated reality. Leotard commented the legitimacy of grand narratives, favoring the recognition and valorization of localized, marginalized narrations. This philosophical reorientation has profound implications, prompting disciplines to scrutinize the assumptions underlying their methodologies and to accept the subjective lenses through which knowledge is construed. In literature and the arts, postmodernism has catalyzed a departure from the linear, coherent accounts and forms characteristic of modernism towards a celebration of entanglement, paradox, and intertextuality. Literature under the postmodern umbrella often features fragmented descriptions, unreliable narrators, and a playful blending of genres and styles. Authors like Thomas Pynchon, Margaret Atwood, and Salman Rushdie exemplify this approach, weaving Baroque tales that defy simple interpretation and engage with the reader on multiple levels, challenging them to question the nature of detail and reality. Similarly, in the visual arts, artists such as Cindy Sherman and Jean-Michel Basquiat employ pastiche, parody, and a diverse array of media to criticize cultural identifications and conventions, blurring the boundaries between high art and popular imagery. This era has seen the rise of installations, conceptual art, and digital media, which interrogate the viewer's relationship to art and its contexts, altering passive observation into active participation. Architecture, too, has felt the great influence of postmodernism, reacting against the functionalist, utilitarian ethos of modernist architecture with a return to ornamentation, historical reference, and a blending of styles. Postmodern buildings, epitomized by the works of architects like Robert Venturi and Philip Johnson, often incorporate eclectic elements, playful forms, 
and a deliberate engagement with the building's context, confronting the modernist precept of universal design solutions. This architectural access accentuates diversity, locality, and the narrative potential of space, inviting a reconsideration of the relationship between form, function, and meaning. In the social sciences, postmodernism has engendered a critical reevaluation of research methodologies and theoretical foundations, affirming the constructed nature of social realities and the effect of perspective in discerning human behavior and societies. This has led to an increased focus on qualitative research methods, narrative analysis, and the examination of status, strength, and resistance in various contexts. The impact is particularly evident in fields such as sociology, anthropology, and cultural studies, where postmodern examinations have asserted the emphasis of considering marginalized voices and the multiplicity of human experiences. These disciplines have become more attuned to the complexities of cultural and social phenomena, moving away from encompassing theories and espousing more delicate, situated understandings of human life. The life-changing impact of postmodernism across these varied fields considers its fundamental protest to conventional wisdom and its advocacy for a more pluralistic, complicated, and interrogative way to knowledge and creativity. By questioning the assumptions that underlie our grasp of the world, postmodernism has not only broadened the horizons of what is considered legitimate inquiry and expression, but has also advanced a richer, more diverse intellectual and cultural scene. As we continue to grapple with the connotations of this paradigm shift, it is clear that the influence of postmodernism will endure, prompting ongoing thinking, debate, and innovation across disciplines. Last but not least, while postmodernism has undeniably reshaped the contours of intellectual and cultural sceneries, granting refreshing perspectives and testing entrenched paradigms, it has not been without its critics. The criticisms leveled against postmodernism are as all-round as the movement itself, ranging from concerns over moral and intellectual relativism to accusations of obscurantism and practical ineffectiveness. One of the most big judgments centers on the movement's staunch relativism and skepticism towards universal truths. Critics debate that this stance undermines the very groundworks of rational dialogue and ethical judgment, potentially leading to a form of nihilism where all perspectives are seen as equally valid, thereby eroding the basis for critical engagement and moral accountability. This critique is not only academic, it touches on the core of how societies negotiate values and make collective decisions. Critics like Jürgen Habermas have disputed that postmodernism's rejection of grand narratives and its welcome of radical pluralism and subjectivity threaten to dissolve the social bonds that are necessary for coherent public dissertation and democratic consensus. In addition, the postmodern intensity on language and communication as constitutive of reality has drawn criticism for its potential to sideline material conditions and objective realities. Critics argue that by focusing excessively on textual analysis and the deconstruction of discourses, postmodernism risks ignoring the concrete socioeconomic and political structures that shape human lives, thus diverting attention from the systemic injustices and inequalities that demand tangible action. This analysis points out a perceived gap between postmodern theoretical intuitiveness and the practicalities of affecting social change, questioning the movement's capacity to contribute to progressive political and social projects. Another strand of criticism targets what some perceive as postmodernism's obscurantism and elitism. Critics claim that the dense, jargon-laden language often associated with postmodern academic writing serves to alienate extensive audiences and gatekeep knowledge within the confines of the academy. This, they contend, contradicts the movement's purported commitment to inclusivity and the democratization of knowledge, effectively reinforcing the power dynamics it seeks to dismantle. This appraisal points to a tension within postmodernism between its theoretical ambitions and its accessibility and pertinence to those outside specialized academic circles. Further, the postmodern assessment of science and its questioning of the objectivity of scientific knowledge have sparked controversy, specifically among those who defend the Enlightenment tradition of rational inquiry and empirical validation. Critics reiterate that postmodernism's skepticism toward scientific methodologies 
and its portrayal of science as just another narration among many, undermines the pursuit of knowledge and the societal benefits derived from scientific advancements. This criticism repeats a comprehensive debate about the role of science in society and the nature of knowledge itself, contemplating concerns about the indications of postmodern epistemological tests for collective awareness and progress. Despite these criticisms, it is essential to recognize that postmodernism is not a monolithic movement, and responses to these comments vary widely among its proponents. Some receive the tensions underlined by critics as inherent to the postmodern project, viewing them as productive sites of inquiry and sources of creative energy. Others seek to address these commentaries by refining postmodern theories and methodologies, probing ways to reconcile the movement's acumens with the demands of ethical responsibility, social engagement, and accessible communication. This ongoing dialogue between postmodernism and its critics is emblematic of the movement's potent nature, deliberating its capacity to adapt, evolve, and continue to provoke thought and debate. To sum up, while the criticisms of postmodernism raise crucial questions about its theoretical premises, practical meanings, and societal impact, they also contribute to the vibrancy and resilience of postmodern essay. By engaging with these criticisms, scholars and practitioners across disciplines are tried to rethink assumptions, research new possibilities, and forge pathways that bridge theoretical intuitions with the complexities of lived experience. In this way, the dialogue between postmodernism and its critics enriches the intellectual and cultural view, backing a more profound knowledge of the varied nature of knowledge, culture, and society. In conclusion, the scrutinization of postmodernism, with its critical eye toward grand narratives, its embrace of relativism, and its deconstruction of inaugurated measures, discloses a movement that is as influential as it is controversial. Postmodernism's skepticism towards universal truths and its justification for a plurality of perspectives have undeniably expanded the horizons of intellectual and cultural conversation, stimulating a richer examination of the assumptions that underpin our perception of reality. This movement has not only challenged the infrastructures of philosophy, literature, and the arts, but has also left an indelible mark on the social sciences, architecture, and beyond, demonstrating its pervasive impact across diverse fields of study and practice. Yet the criticisms of postmodernism, ranging from accusations of moral relativism to concerns about its practical overtones, underscore the tensions inherent in its path. These examinations invite ongoing idea and dialogue, pushing scholars and practitioners to grapple with the ramifications of applying postmodern judgments in a world that yearns for both meaning and action. Despite these confrontations, the active nature of postmodernism, with its capacity to provoke debate and inspire innovation, ensures its continued applicability in addressing the ever-evolving questions of contemporary society. In essence, Postmodernism stands as a testament to the power of questioning and the value of diverse perspectives in crossing the convolutions of the human experience. Its legacy is an abundant dosser of strategic thought, creative expression, and scholarly inquiry that continues to influence and inform. As we move forward, the dialogue between postmodernism and its critics will undoubtedly continue to supplement our realization of the world championing a culture of intellectual curiosity and open-mindedness that is vital for the advancement of knowledge and the betterment of society.